What's up guys, it's George Liu and in today's video I'm going to show you how to improve your lead hook by fixing three common mistakes. The lead hook is probably the hardest punch to learn in boxing because there's a lot of things going on at the same time. Unlike the jab or the cross where the punches come straight out and straight back, the hook is meant to come around the guard of your opponent. Before I go over the common mistakes I see when learning the hook, if you're new to this channel, I love sharing advice on boxing, nutrition, exercise, life of a boxer, behind the scenes footage on boxing events. So if any of those topics interest you, please make sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date with the latest video. All right, so let's begin with the first mistake. The first mistake I see people make when learning the hook is not knowing the correct distance. Each punch in boxing has a different range. For example, the jab and the cross covers the most distance because they're intended to be straight punches. The hook is a mid to close range punch, meaning you can't be too far away from your opponent or if you're hitting the heavy bag, you can't be too far away. Ever notice when you're hitting the heavy bag, if you're doing a simple combination like jab cross hook, it feels a little off. That's because you may have to correct the distance on your punches. Like I said earlier, the jab and the cross are long punches and the hook is close to mid range punch. So if you feel off balance when you're landing the hook after throwing jab cross, that's because you're a little too far away from the heavy bag or your opponent. You can always modify your punches to emphasize another punch. For example, if you wanna emphasize the hook on the jab cross hook combination, you're gonna to have to shorten the jab cross in order to land the hook. Boxing is a very complex and dynamic sport, so there's a lot of trade-offs that are going on. If you're trying to emphasize a short range punch, you have to put yourself in a more risky position. So the first mistake that needs to be fixed when throwing the hook it's finding the correct distance. Play around with the range. Some fighters like throwing wider hooks, others like throwing shorter hooks. You have to find which hook fits best for you. Okay, the second mistake I see is leaning forward as you throw the hook. You don't wanna lean forward as you throw the hook for a few reasons. The first reason, if you're leaning forward, your momentum and power is gonna go forward. When you're throwing the hook, you're not throwing the hook forward, you're throwing it at an angle to the side around the guard of your opponent. Another reason is when you lean forward, you're gonna straighten out your legs, specifically your back leg. And when you do that, it's gonna take away from the power of the hook and it's gonna cause you to lose your balance. When you're throwing the hook, you gotta make sure to keep your knees bent, both knees bent the entire time. This is gonna allow you to remain balanced and not lean forward. Again, leaning forward will do nothing for your hook and it's just gonna put you at a worse position. So next time you're hitting the heavy bag, ask yourself, are you bending your knees? And if you're bending your knees, then that means you're not leaning forward. And if you're not leaning forward, then you're throwing the hook a little better. Okay, the third mistake I see is not rotating your hips as you throw the hook. Rotating your hips allows you to transfer your weight from one side of your body to the other side of your body. And when you're throwing the hook, you're putting that weight from that lead side to your rear side. And that's gonna create the power in those punches. If you don't rotate your hips, then you're gonna throw more of an arm punch. And again, boxing is complex and you can do a lot, you can make a lot of things work for you. But if you wanna put a little bit more power on your hook, you're gonna to have to emphasize the rotation on your hips because that's where the power comes from. The power stems from the ground and you're gonna use your whole body to rotate and put that power on that punch at the end of the punch. So by rotating your hips, you're able to transfer your weight a little better. A good way to practice rotating your hips is by pivoting that lead foot as you throw the hook. Just like when you throw the cross, you have to pivot that rear foot in order to turn the hips. Same concept applies when you throw that lead hook. So next time you're hitting the heavy bag, focus on rotating your hips and fixing all these three mistakes. And by doing so, they all work together. So your hook will be a lot better. So the first one is really gauging the distance and finding what's a perfect range for your hook. The second one is don't lean forward as you throw the hook. You don't wanna lean forward because then your knees are gonna straighten out, they're gonna lock out, and you're gonna lose your balance, you're gonna lose your power. And the third one is really focusing on rotating your hips, and when you rotate your hips, your upper body's gonna follow, and that's where the power is gonna come from. So by fixing these three mistakes, you should see improvement on your hook. All right guys, thanks for watching. If you like the new team shirt, you can check it out. Go on the website, www.luuboxing.com. Use code YouTube at checkout to get a discount. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what mistake were you making and did this video help? Thanks for watching. Pah!